Hey everybody. I'm so sorry I didn't see your comments until the end. Sometimes this technology is a little, can be a lot challenging, but we are live again and I'm already showing both myself and my desktop and I apologize that that did not work well the first time. New version of the software, well it upgraded just before I went live and it happens to me often enough that you'd think I would remember and do something about it. So I'm trying to get everything in the window and it's just not going to go unless Okay, that's that's about as much as I can get now. Cut off my host code, so I'll show that. Let me see if I can show it and move it to the bottom. Let's move that. Is that in the window? No, I don't think it's going to be. It's not. Oh, dad gum. Anybody else having a day like this? It's so pretty out and I'm struggling. Okay, I think that's gonna do it. Now, let's try this again. Of course, I don't know now when I've told you what I haven't shown you. All right, um, so, big week. <laughs> Kicking it off with a bang, right? So, um, lots of things happening this week in May, uh, in June, uh, just everywhere. So, um, you know, I've got this little reminder up here. Did you know I have a YouTube channel and I have a newsletter that you can subscribe? Oh, and now my comments are popping up too. This is amazing. Hey, Lori, thanks for being here. Thanks for catching my boo-boo on the first go-round. Um, so sorry about that. Um, just a reminder that this today is the last day to order the April class to go, um, featuring the abstract impressions and the colors that are retiring. So you have three options with this class. You're going to make these five beautiful class cards. Envelopes are included. In fact, for option one, which is the um, tutorial emailed to you, you also will get all of the supplies to make your cards. So that is the five envelopes that you need. Five thick white card bases. Five pre-embossed layers, one in each color. Ah, so Tranquil Tide, Fresh Fig, Berry Burst, Powder Pink, and Lemon Lime Twist. I love these colors. Very sad to see them go. You'll also get five vellum layers, five layers for your stamped images to go on, and five white squares for you to do your stamping on and enough ribbon for you um, to do a cheetah bow or to tie them up. Hey Debbie! So I do cheetah bows on all of my cards almost because I struggle with bows and because this bow is flat enough to be mailed. Okay, um, You can of course, of course mix up your colors however you'd like to but your tutorial tells you how our samples were made um, using the ink colors. We only used the, the five ink colors as well. So option three includes all of the supplies, the email tutorial, and you can add on the stamp set. So this is a $26 stamp set. So for $15 you can purchase just the tutorial. For $20 you can get the tutorial and the supplies to make your five cards. And for $46, you can include the stamp set. So that's a great, that's a great value. Ship, uh, postage is already included. Now you do have to give me a little bit of time to get everything prepped and sent to you. I also might have to get some supplies from Stampin' Up. So um, if you need some guidance as to where to find the link to register for that, please let me know and I'll get that to you. I'd love to get 
this lovely set in your hands. So, last chance, April's to go card class. In May, we're doing a punch art class. So, we're making an airplane, a little golf um, scene, something else still escapes me, can't think of what it is, but anyway. Um, yesterday, at my Christmas card class, we made these four cards. Now this one, this stamp set, is not retiring. The stamp set, the Winter Woods. Now the Joy has already retired. That was from a limited edition stamp set. Um, the stamp was called Snow is Glistening, and then there was there were two actually two stamp sets and a set of framelits that the framelits coordinated with both stamp sets. Um, but this is Mary Merlot and Grey Granite. Just a real pretty card. And it, this would not have to be Christmas. This could be any sentiment. This could be thing. It could be anything. Okay. Um, the snow card, super cute, right? Um, snow gently falling. No, softly fall. Softly falling is the embossing folder. This embossing folder is retiring. Okay. So, um, good while supplies last, or up through June second, I believe. The large letter framelits are retiring. I will not include those in my buy one get one sale. So if you would like the framelits or the stamps that coordinate with this, make your purchase early. I'm afraid they might they might sell out. Um, and most of us will probably hold on to ours even though they retire. The little snowman is from the Spirited Snowman stamp set that was in the holiday catalog. And we colored him with blends and then fussy cut him out. So um, then this, this really pretty um, card. So these framelits, these snowflake framelits, were the coordinating framelits that went with the um, Snow is Glistening. So it was a limited edition um, suite or bundle. And Stampin' Up! does that every once in a while. In fact, there's one coming May 1st. Okay, there's not even a pre-order for this. Customers and demonstrators alike can um, purchase that on May 1st for $80. It has stamps, and it has foil, and it has designer series paper, and it has die-cut images. Um, I can't even remember if they're framelits. I meant to look that up, and I've forgotten. But um, everything is rosy. I'll, just, I'll post some of the samples that have been made with that suite. But $80 is a ton and ton of product. Lori, I'm so sorry you're still sick, but all of your cards are prepped and ready for you. So when you have a chance to come over and make them, these are the cards that you're going to make. And um, and they're super, super fun and super sweet. In fact, I wish that I had prepped more so I could have made more. Um, this is the Candy Cane Lane um, we featured here. We did, we did, I did kind of use retired product. Um, the new catalog has some carryover sets from the holiday catalog, but there's no paper. There's no designer series paper. So in May, for the May's Christmas card class, we will be using um, the designer series paper that's in the current catalog. Um, it is called, I believe it's called Under the Mistletoe. And it is, my card is, my catalog is so well loved. This is how you know it's time for a new catalog is when your existing catalog practically falls falls apart, falls asleep. Okay. I don't think the catalog's gonna fall asleep. I might fall asleep, but um, under the mistletoe designer series paper. So this uh, the suite is on page 94-95, and then you can see the paper here as well. So in May, so that's May 18th, we'll be using this designer series paper that's at the bottom here and the um, one of the stamp sets that I know is carrying over. You can see my R's so those are all retiring but one of the ones that carried over oh it's in the it's in the holiday catalog. Um, Merry Christmas to all I think mm, gosh that may not be the right name but anyway and we'll be using that stamp set too. But these are the four cards we made yesterday in the Christmas card class so join us um, we're going to have a blast making Christmas cards each month from now through November. You make two each on the four designs each month, and you'll make two of each of them. So these are the ones that we made yesterday. Had a great turnout and um, lots of fun. So come, come next month for that. In the birthday card class, we made, um, we made six cards, and in the 
this is a product-based class. So every month in the birthday card class, you make six cards and you receive um, a, sele a selection of products. So they received a full um, set of designer series paper, the Tea Room Specialty, gosh, what's it called? Tea Room Specialty Designer Series paper, this beautiful paper. And um, then about six shards of ribbon and some of the vinyl stickers that went with this suite. So not quite sure what May will look like, but it's always a lot of fun and a great value. So um, one of the cards that we made yesterday was this card. And it's really much more simple, but it's very hard to write out the directions. So I thought I would do that in the live video today to show you how really simple it is. So, um, <laughs> in the video that you couldn't see, this is the card that we made. Life is a beautiful thing. This sentiment is from um, Four Seasons. No, Colorful Seasons. There are Four Seasons, but the stamp set is called Colorful Seasons. And I used a starburst punch of the copper foil and the Coastal Cabana uh, reversible ribbon is carrying over to the new catalog. And then this slides out just like this. Right? So, and I've done this with Christmas paper and um, just it's just different and, and fun. Um, it could be um, a gift card. You could put a gift card here. Lots of, lots of ideas. So just real quickly, I'll show you that in case you suffered through the first video thinking I was gonna get my stuff together. And I never did. So, I start out with a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. Um, be careful of your direction. So in the first card that I made in my class, um, the paper had stems. So obviously the direction of the pattern mattered. In the paper that I have here, it doesn't matter. Maybe I should go back and make this one, however, so that you can see a little bit what that's like. So bear with me while I find that. Here it is. Okay. <coughs> All right, so I need to cut. I'm cutting vertical, right? So I want my stems to be vertical. And I'm going to first just cut off a four inch swatch. And then I'm going to cut two inches from this. All right, now oh, I need to do some scoring. Okay, but let's talk about this for a second. So, I don't exactly fold this in half, okay? I need the back piece to be five and a quarter, okay, to the score line, and then I'm gonna fold it up. Now, I want my stems going this way. So if I had done this this way, right, then my stems will be going the wrong way. So it's very important in this case, it's only paper, but I want to fold this way. So this end, I need to place in my trimmer at five and a quarter because that's where I want my score line to be. And depending on the thickness of your paper, how, how thick you need to make that score line. And then, or how hard you want to press. And then this, at one inch, I'm just going to fold that over. Now, back to those supplies that I set over to the side. I'm going to need another inner piece. Right? So this piece needs to be five. I think Hazel might be in the dog's crate. Nobody tell Hattie. It just sounds like the dog bowl rattling around, and it's not time for him to be fit, so I don't think it's him. I think it's her. All right, and then I just noticed I have one of these nearby, so I can use this label. This is from oh, Dad Gun Stitched. Stitched label framelits, and these are gorgeous. And I, I think they're carrying over. Um, 
Yeah. That's the one I used. So I went ahead and punched those early. And then my we'll make this one another happy birthday. I need to have happy birthday cards on hand so that I can get them, have a better chance of getting them in the mail. Okay, so I'm going to fold this up so you can see it's not in half, right? Um, and then I'm going to fold this over. I do not want to put adhesive on the insides because I want this card to slide in easily. <laughs> so my back card base is Coastal Cabana. And again, I've got some choices in ribbon here. I've got a Coastal Cabana piece. No, this is Calypso Coral. See, the CC, that's messing me up. This is Coastal Cabana. This is Calypso Coral. Or I even have Rich Razzleberry, which I have a lot of in my paper, but I'm not feeling it. Oh, but when I punch this, I need my one and three quarter punch. All right. Bear with me a second. Um, well, maybe not. <laughs> okay, sit tight. I think it's one and three quarters. Let's just make sure. So, proof of how nice it is to have these. Maybe the copper would be pretty shiny through. Not a lot would shine through though. Just having fun. Okay. So yeah, now that that's really not gonna shine through. Or you could really go out on a limb, be very very great. And I've got a ton of ribbon over here. I don't think y'all can see it. It's just off camera. I did put glue this flap down just a little bit. And before I adhere this to my card back, I want to decide on my ribbon. So I'm going to come over here to the box of supplies that came in recently. And since I added that copper, maybe I'd like to use one of these. Come on. Today. It's making Monday sound really unappealing. So if you're struggling on Sunday, what hope does Monday have? Oh, you know I'm realizing I haven't done yet. Um, All right, so let's see how we like. Maybe we'll take this around twice. And tie a bow. Now we both know that that just means there's going to be. No, we don't. Know. We both don't like there's. You know, I could only be talking to one of you. Maybe there are a few others. I glued it to my finger. I add, add my bow after I put it down. Oops. 
combo glue will give me more time to wiggle this in place, which I'm probably going to need. Sometimes the struggle is real. And that is too far to the left. Okay. And then we need to stamp a sentiment. And I said I was going to do happy birthday again. So let's sound better here. Alright, I used Happy Birthday from All That You Are. This is from the Occasions Catalog. I do not believe it's carrying over. And go ahead and stamp this in Coastal Cabana. Yes, I said it right that time. Coastal Cabana. The blue one. Clean off my stamp. Yes, I'll end up with a bigger mess. I don't. So if you all have some questions and I'm not seeing your comments, feel free to leave them and I will try and I'll come back and answer them. This will take a minute to set. I should have used actually I'm probably glue dots on this because it will slide around for just a second on the foil. So I'm just going to hold that for just a second and come back over here and make sure I mentioned. Oh, a Mask Blend series, May 21st. I think I've got at least three months of um, a Mask Blend class that we'll do. So four designs, we'll make two of each each month. We have lots of stamp sets to choose from, which is awesome. We don't normally see that in our masculine um, in our masculine sets very much. So I think I'm actually going to tie a bow for this one. Man, I'm really brave, huh? After all the trouble I've had, I think I'm going to try and tie a bow in a video. No pressure. Dadgum, what was I thinking? Um, I'm going to do an in-color club this year. So for five months, each month in this club, we'll focus on one of the new in colors and they sound amazing. And that did not look amazing. And so you'll pay a certain price each month and you'll get a pack of cardstock and some, you'll get the ink pad and the marker and a design card using featuring that color. I think it's going to be lots of fun. I've been studying what other demonstrators have done over the last few years and I think I'm ready. So we're going to give it a try. All right, I need a glue dot. Anybody got a glue dot? You're good. Well, this is turning out really pretty. I really sounded surprised, didn't I? And there's a good reason to use two, since I just totally put that one under the ribbon. And I can't really see if that's straight. Okay, think it's okay. Now, here's the piece that goes here. And it might be nice if there were, if there was a sentiment that went all the way across, or um, what I did on the last one, so I kind of made an illusion. I came back in with a strip of this. And I really like that. Let's let's try it again. Since you couldn't see what I did, I first 
Well, I didn't first, but I need to cut this to three and three quarters. And then I just wanted an inch. So I like this, this yellow flower here. So I'm going to cut my paper it's just so that it ends. And that is the tiniest amount that I just cut off. And like I said, different different times I have um, I've, I've used a, a die cut here, um, and it's a flower or something, and then I've put a the sentiment across the top of this um, piece that that slides in and out. Um, you could use this as a gift card holder. So might be some might be fun to do some graduation cards or Father's Day. You know, sometimes our fathers are difficult to purchase from for, so a gift card is nice. And you may have heard my dad spent a few days in the hospital this week. He's okay. He's going to follow up with some doctors this week, but um, he's okay. Um, dad's kind of truck along being invincible, and then suddenly they're down, and you're like, how'd that happen? It just doesn't seem right. Now that's, did I not cut that? Isn't that funny? So, would have sworn I cut those the same. Hmm. Well, I have no idea. But, so now you've got three different looks here, right? So, um, this one that I did in class yesterday, um, used this die cut from the stitched labels we just had those out and I decorated this piece with stamps from all around all around the around the corner I think it's called remember no adhesive on the sides right you want this to slide freely okay. then on the one that you didn't get to see this sentiment is from colorful seasons and somehow or another you know that definitely looks like more than an inch I didn't measure very well but it turned out to be pretty cool because it looks like it's another piece of designer series paper. It's just, that's a really cool thing. And then on this one, so I went back to my birthday sentiment from All That You Are, used the ribbon that coordinates with this tea room suite in the occasions catalog, and just cut the strip. And so you have this effect with a little bit of copper behind the die cut. So. Very cool. Let me know what you think. Which one's your favorite? And can you see how you could do this with all kinds of designer series papers? So guys, get that paper out of the package and cut it up. Kylie Bertucci says, love it, chop it. And chop it up and use it. My goodness, it's going to retire um, on June 2nd, and we don't want to be hoarding it. We want to be using it. Let's get it out in the mail. Um, I am going to send out these three cards this week. And actually, um, if you would uh, like to help me out, I'll draw from those who leave comments, and I'll send you some of these cards so that you can share them as well. Um, so guys, have a fabulous Sunday. I apologize for the repeat, but luckily I don't think we have to do a three-peat. So enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Thanks so much for your patience. Bye-bye.